We are so excited today to be joined by the fitness director at the Sports Club of West Bloomfield, Eileen Cruz. She is making sure that all those members of our greater West Bloomfield community who go to the sports club are staying healthy this holiday season after Thanksgiving as we've had some fun celebrations and as we head into December. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Eileen. It is my pleasure. Hello, Maddie. So tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into fitness and what kind of inspired you to get into that. Well, I go back quite a ways. I got into the whole aerobic craze back in the mid 80s, uh, doing the Jane Fonda workout and, um, you know, all of the stereotypical uh, wearing the leg warmers and doing the aerobic classes. And it was a lot of fun. And it uh, morphed itself into being asked to teach. And I started teaching various places in the area, uh, Farmington Hills, Novi, West Bloomfield. And uh, one thing led to another. And I wound up at the sports club in um, 1992 and I had already had a personal training business and I brought everything here. I started doing my aerobics here and then I did all my personal training here. And then as the Wait. fitness, as a fitness director, you kind of oversee every aspect of fitness yes. that goes on at the sports club. Will you tell us about yes. the different types of amenities that you guys have there? I know you guys have sports as well, but um, specifically with the, with the fitness there at the sports club. So when you're a member, uh, as far as the fitness part of the membership is concerned, you get two schedules, essentially. You get a yoga schedule and then you get a group exercise schedule. The yoga schedule is exactly what it sounds like, um, all different formats of yoga. And then the group exercise schedule, you get what you would imagine your group fitness classes would look like. So that's anything from body conditioning, to Zumba, to low impact, to step, and spinning too. Uh, don't wanna forget about spinning, indoor cycling. Um, so that all comes with your fitness membership. Then we have a, what we call a floor of cardio with every type of cardio machine you can imagine. And they each have their own TV that even comes with Netflix, if you can remember your password and your username. So there are no excuses. Um, and uh, then we have a full weight room. And uh, that's everything from plate loaded and dumbbells for the guys who like to lift heavy. And uh, uh, we've had this whole apparatus that we call a Queen X. It's a little bit of an odd name, but it's all functional fitness. That's where we hang our TRXs and mm, throw our medicine balls around, you know, that type of thing. Um, it pretty much covers everything. We have uh, Pilates reformer. We have a few Pilates reformer instructors. Then of course, big part of our club is the tennis. And right now, the pickleball is off the charts. Uh, do not have enough courts for pickleball. We could, we could add many more courts for pickleball, and they will be full. It's. Uh, I'm not quite sure what all the excitement is. I have to take a lesson, I guess. To me, it looks like standing ping pong. Um, all the pickleballers are probably raising their eyebrows right now, but that's what it looks like to me as a non pickleball player but people are crazy about it. And it's a very social activity, very social. Yes, and all of those uh, tennis, pickleball sports and all the fitness amenities there, um, you can yeah. go and it's all covered, correct? Correct, yes, yeah. So all indoors, yeah. something you can go and experience while it's yeah. snowing on the ground here. And with the holiday season coming up, do you have any tips or advice that maybe you give to people at the sports club or anyone that is looking to get more fit this holiday season? Well, to get more fit the holiday season, I, that might be, expectations might be a little high there. I really like to consider myself a, a realistic type trainer. I think that during the holiday season, you want to maintain your fitness. I think the most important thing is to keep your routine. Try not to skip your workouts. 
put them in your schedule. Do a little bit more if you know you're going to splurge a little bit. And that doesn't have to be anything um, out of the ordinary. Maybe just walk a couple more times a week. Uh, get that weight workout in maybe a couple more times a week. I would say definitely watch the sweets. Uh, alcohol, I think. I think some people realize how many calories are in how alcohol, but it can really sneak up on you. You know, a few glasses of wine can really throw you off your regimen. So I think um, maintaining in my book is the big thing over the holidays. And then once they're over, you can take this huge sigh of relief, get all the leftovers out of your refrigerator, and then be done with it. Some great advice for those people to maintain, and I think it's a great tip. You know, people go into New Year's and they make all these New Year's resolutions, but really, if you can just walk a couple times or just maintain those uh, fitness goals that you already have yeah. intact, do you have any tips for people that are maybe looking to incorporate fitness into their New Year's resolutions this year? My tip would be sit down with your schedule and look at every day and figure out where you can carve out an hour for yourself and stick to it. And that means where are you gonna get your cardio in? If you wanna do weights a couple times a week, that's what you're gonna do in that hour. Um, I really love yoga. I know that cardio, weights, and yoga can seem like an awful lot to fit in, but you gotta schedule it. And uh, the cardio doesn't, it can be 40 minutes of a walk. Um, it doesn't have to be an hour of cardio. As a matter of fact, the newest studies show that anything over 30 minutes is really just increasing your risk of injury. The key is to make it intense enough that you're definitely breathing slightly heavier and maybe working up a little bit of a perspiration, you know, uh, like that. And I would say that's the biggest thing is to have it in your schedule. And, then, and that's it. Stick to it. Don't let anything get in the way. Do not let anything get in the way. Somebody says, can you talk at this time of day? You have to say, no, I'm very sorry. I am working out at that time. Can we find another time to talk, you know? Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Eileen. You are very welcome. Thank you.